this product, did you mess with this product? Did you set this part up? No, I didn't. Okay, so put um, the switch book. Put the big book yeah, because shut up, you two. Sorry, my dogs are going bananas. Yeah. yeah, because so when I built out that page and yeah, I went to the bottom and I think I, I changed it. I forget what it said. I think it said click here and I think I changed it to get it now. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to do at that point to try to connect yeah. it. And I'm like, I'll just wait and we can do that. Yeah, for sure. So here's what I'm going to do. This, um, this book funnel upsell or bump upsell, click upsell. I'm going to just delete all this. Cause all we really need is one. We just need this one over here because we don't have an upsell right now. So right. let's not even confuse ourselves by having all this other crap. I want to just keep it as clean as possible and as less clutter as possible. So let me just um, get rid of, okay, perfect. So now we just have this one right here, flip the switch book. Okay, so now what we have to do, what we also have to do, which is off of, off of Kartra, is we have to, I don't know if you've done this already, but have you set up a Stripe account? No. Okay, so that's what we have to do as well, Stripe. Okay. And it's free, but you'd have to do it on your end. Yes, yeah, let's see Because it's gonna ask you for a bunch of private information. Can not I really do private. This? What's that? Can I do it and not lose you? Hang on. Well, or will I lose you? You, you're not going to lose me, but I, I, I want you to kind of do. Let's just focus on this okay. part first. You can do this part later, because this is just it's, it, this is going to ask you for your, your, you know, banking information and all that stuff. So do that, yeah. do that offline. Do that. Okay. Um, later, but Stripe is for sure the one that we're going to connect to Kartra. So everything's going to run through Kartra as far as the link, they're going to click on the page, they're going to process, they're going to enter their credit card information. All that is done through Kartra, but the actual processing of the credit card is done through Stripe. So as I mentioned on our, on our previous call, 99.999% of every single online marketer who is selling something online is using Stripe. So this is a very, very effective and powerful um, software, the Stripe platform. Okay, so that's what we'll integrate to Kartra when, when you set that part up. That, that part will take you a few minutes to set up, and then it'll take me a few minutes to integrate it. So okay. just let me know when you have that set up later on. Um, okay. So what we'll start with is we'll start with, um, we can go to, let me see, let's open up the pages. Because the product, we got we to gotta connect the product to the page. So let's go to pages. And this is, and so... We'll keep everything in categories. So now we have the book funnel. That's one category, which is really all we have. This is all, these are all, all your pages. But as you go in and, and create more pages for whatever in the future, listings, whatever, they'll just be in a different category. Okay, okay so this will be all for the book funnel. Okay, so what we don't need, I'm going to take out some pages here that we don't need. This is a full-blown funnel where there's upsell, there's downsell. So we don't have that right now. So just so we don't, you know, keep everything cluttered, we're going to just delete the pages that we don't need um, because all we're going to need really to tell you the truth, all you're going to need is, is really, really maybe two pages. So I'm going to delete. And in fact, yeah, yeah, it's really, it's yeah. To tell you the truth, it's two pages. So I'm going to delete this page. We don't need the upsell page right now. Um, we don't need the downsell page right now. And this video page, we can delete that one. We can delete um, that one. Could be that could be the that could be the thank you page. But then again, we don't. I'll create a different one. We don't need that one. Um, and then we don't need this one. Okay, so here's what here's what we here's what we can do. This this long form. This is a long form sales page. Let me open it up. There's, there's a long form sales page, there's a short form sales page. It's kind of, it's all preference. It's all what, what you want. Um, but this is just a template. This is what I've used forever. And it's, and there's nothing to it. It's just super plain and, and just a bunch of text, but it's, it's crazy effective. But um, this is just one template. This is what I, I've been using for a very long time for, for mine. Um, like here's my book over here, The Social Real Estate Agent. So a person comes here, and it's the same, same template, same, same damn layout. And I just simply edited everything. So this is my, mine. attention, real estate agents, new book reveals the top five steps. There's a picture of me. And then I just simply edited and put all my words in the, in the slot. There's a picture of my book. So they come here, they click on the book 
and they purchase it. And so all this, so, so here's, here's the process. The person, and it's a three, a three step process. So they're at the cart, it's 550, they hit continue, they enter their information, name, email, and here's what's so powerful as well that we cannot do with Amazon is when that person enters their information, this is step two of the billing, they end up putting in their information and they end up hitting continue. Mm -hmm. Then they come to the checkout. They can check right. out with credit card or they can check out with PayPal. This is all done through Kartra. But again, when the credit card, the credit card, it's, 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 it's Stripe. Mm -hmm. But my point is, is that as we drive traffic, and to tell you the truth, I haven't even ran Facebook ads for this. All mine has came organic. And in my whole book, it wasn't really a, a, a thing that I was going to roll out forever. It was really just a, a, a way for me to test the market, for me, to, for me to send it to my existing audience, my organic audience, my Facebook uh -huh. friends, and see if there was even an interest, right? That was my intention with my book. Your intention is a completely different intention. We're going to sell that bad boy forever. But I never really ran ads because I wasn't taking it to that extent. Um, now when you do run ads, now we're going to have way more people going through this funnel, way more people are going to be coming to this page. And, and, and as I mentioned before, X amount will fall off X amount will, will process X amount will fall out at this point. They'll be like, Oh damn. Okay. Shit. I don't know if I want to buy. It. Okay. Well, let me, let me think about it. I'll come back. And that's just uh -huh. the normal consumer behavior, right? But the actual, and, and so the ones that actually fall out. So right now, if I fall out, and I'm like, you know what, dude, I'll, I'll, I'll get it later. Never mind. He wants credit card, PayPal. Well, shit, I don't know which one. I'll, I'll, I'll get it later. What's now about to happen in the back end, on the back end, is, is that person is going to receive an email every couple hours for the next few hours. And so, and so that email is set up through Kartra where it's an abandoned cart email. And I'll, I'll set that up for you but we need to write out the text, but an email is going to go out. So right now I put my email in, in two hours, I'm going to get an email. Hey, David, you forgot to check out. I know shit happens. You know, I, I know you're probably super busy closing escrows and whatnot, but Hey, I'm not going to keep it at 550 forever. Click here to check out now before the offer is gone. And then, and then another email is going to go out two hours later. Hey, David, I think we're still stuck in the checkout. You may want to click here to check out before the offer expires. Right? So now, now we're able to control. Now I have that email. And, and, and for those that fall out, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a good percentage of people that fall out. That's just normal. At least we can at least try again on the back end and get them back to purchase. That's super important. That basic, basic, basic email automation is super important. Um, so with that being said, it comes down to which page are we going to use? Are we going to just use, are we going to use the long form sales page or are we going to just use this one, which is totally fine? Um, I think... Because it's going to someone else's list, I think I'd rather use, I think, so for me on the other one, there's just too much text. Like I don't, with, when I ever see anything that's a long form, mm -hmm. I go immediately to the bottom. I don't read it. I just yeah. go straight yeah. like, cause Perfect. that's who I am. Perfect. So I think this one, since it's going to, yeah. I mean, I know Tom and it's going to his list. I'd rather keep it kind of shorter and to the point. Um, awesome. I love it. And then I don't know how to connect. So I noticed it has the little icons on the bottom for all the social media things. I don't know what you call that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah. don't know. I guess somewhere in Kartra, I can fill those in and connect them. So they're let's there. Do it. Let's do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're actually, you know, what, what we do need real, really quick is we need a thank you page. So when they purchase, when they come to the first page, they come to this page, they click download for free. Um, yeah, I need to change it because they're will not downloading change. it for free. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll change that. They click on it. They, and then, and then a checkout is going to pop up. Yeah. So just like on mine, the checkout pops up. Once they process their credit card and they click purchase now, they're taken to a ne the next page, which is the thank you page. So okay. that's what we need real quick. We just need a quick, let me just set one up just really quick. And then we, you could, we could decorate it later, but over here, thank you pages. And it's just a basic thank you page. And now on this thank you page, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't have my social media icons on the front. Okay. Because again, all that does is take away the attention. Gotcha. Yeah, that was in the template. So yeah, yeah it's I all good. I didn't mess with it. Yeah, it's all good. But what, where we're going to put those social media icons is we're going to put it, we're going to put those on the thank you page. So once you okay. purchase my damn thing, now I'm going to open up to you and let you know where you can find me. 
right? Okay. So it's the thank you page is where all those icons and, and even more information goes. And to tell you the truth, I would have a video. I would for sure do a 30 second video. Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading your, your copy. My name is Lorraine, author of Flip the Switch. I just wanted to personally introduce myself and let you know how thankful I am. Um, over the next few days, you're gonna get a few emails from me. So that's just a way for you to shine. It's just a way for you to say thank you. It's a way for you to introduce yourself. And so it's literally a way for you to separate yourself from every freaking author on the planet because no one does that. And so if I just purchased your thing and all of a sudden now, you now, now I'm seeing a video of the, of the author, it's like, holy shit, she has my attention. That's just an, an option. That's an option. And that's, okay. what, that's what can go on these thank you pages. Um, or it could just be a random image. It could be for sure a random image, or it doesn't even have to be an image. It could be maybe just this. Thank you, for thank you for downloading your copy, or thank you for purchasing. And then boom, check your email, open our email, click the link to download, and then follow me on social media. And there goes your social media icon. So it could be as okay. plain as that, or it could just be, or it could be a video. Totally up to you. But um, let's just choose, let's just choose, I don't know, should I choose one with a video slot, or should I choose yeah, one? Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. Um... And then I just have to figure out how do I get the video off my, and my phone, I need, I need to upgrade my phone. So yeah, my, my phone fell and sh I've had my phone for like six years, fell and shattered the glass. So I got that fixed. And now I have so much stuff on it. I don't have enough space. So I just have to figure out how to get the video off my phone um, in here. I'll use my all, husband's all, phone. All you're going to do is, is just simply plug in your phone, like record the video on your phone and yeah. make sure you hold the phone horizontal um, record the video on your phone and then plug it into your computer, into your laptop, to your computer and just transfer it to your computer. Okay. And then, and then from your download folder on your computer, you upload it to Kartra. Okay. That's it. Super, super simple. I'll show you how to do that. So should I, should I just, and, and, and again, we'll decorate this page later, but I just want it there so we can connect all the pieces right now. Should we, should I put a video one or should I just do a basic text one? Thank you type of template it's up to you i've got to push myself to do video i was on this brand summit yesterday um just it's, do the video it's I'll one do video it. it's one video i mean lorraine you you rock it i mean and, and again here's here's what here's what i always talk about here's what i always 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 say and i, and I just i was speaking to an investor earlier a, a gentleman out of miami um He's, he's also like that where he's like, damn, David, I, I don't really do too much video. And this guy is a 25 year vet investor. He's been in the, an investor for 25 years, single family foreclosures. He's a licensed broker and he still fears the camera. And that's kind of how you are as well. And what you guys need to realize is that you know more about this shit than 99% of your entire freaking state. So it almost comes down to not even what you're talking about. The fact that you're there, the fact that you're visually showing yourself, you've already won. So there's absolutely nothing you can say on that video that's going to throw off the audience because the audience already knows that you're credible. They're, you're a freaking author. Like, what the hell? Your face is on a damn book. Like, what the hell? Like, you already have this credibility. You're already on a pedestal. So it doesn't matter what that video almost is. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't. The fact that it's a video is all that matters. It does, we're not going to know that you're, you're nervous. We're not going to know that you're stuttering, nor, that we're, nor, nor are we going to care. The fact that it's you, that's why it's the most authentic. It's the most ghetto ass. Phone is shaking. Your hand is shaking on your cell phone. You're walking through the damn mall. You're talking. There's noise in the background. It's those types of authentic videos that get the most engagement on social media. But when it comes to your profession, every real estate agent wants to be their best. They want to look their best. They want every freaking thing to look professional it's like dude that's not social media so i'm telling you your basic cell phone that that right there would win win the audience over now you don't have to do that i'm just it's just it's just i'm just saying how we're how we're going to stand out that's all i mean a simple ass video lorraine would go a long way you know so i would do a, a video and that's why if you if you go to my page and look at my video it's like oh my gosh it, it was on my old android phone it it, it doesn't even look the best at all but it's like, man, you know how much business I got from it? All because it was just a video of me. Like, I'm stuttering on the damn video. Like, it, it's like it, when someone buys my book, when you buy my book, you go to the thank you page. It's me on video pitching you on scheduling an appointment. And it's a very low budget video on my old ass 1995 Android cell phone. So it's not the quality. It's, it's the fact that my message and, and face is there. That's, that's, that, that's social media. And I'm telling you, you, you can crush it, but it's up to you. 
I'm going to just put, I'll just put this video template just for the hell of it. And, and we yep. can always change it. I'm just putting it here again so I can at least connect the pieces to the puzzle and at least get this, at least get it going. Let's, um, I'll just, I'll just select this, this one right now, right here. So let's select that. This is the, this is the, the thank you page. So we're going to call this flip the switch. Thank you. Thank you page. Okay. And then the category it's going in the book funnel, select site, no particular site. So create. So now they purchase and then they go to a thank you page and then we'll just match up the colors and, and all that. <clears throat> so <clears throat> over here, this is where <clears throat> the social media icons, <clears throat> you know, should be. So let me link those real quick. Okay. Let's go to, um, and Are you out of jail? <clears throat> what's that? Are you out of jail? <laughs> I'm out of jail, man. Gosh, you okay. bastards. Yes, I'm out of jail. It lasted two days. <clears throat> yeah. And it sucks because when I bring on clients, you know, and, and they and they obviously pay me money and then all of a sudden they don't see me on Facebook. They're like, holy shit, did this guy rip me off? Yeah. I you know, so it's like, and, and just before that happened, I had brought in a couple clients and I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope they don't freak out. You know, but thank God, you know, two days later, I was back up. But <clears throat> yeah, that happened to me about three times so far. So I got it. It's just I'm telling you, my, my hustle game is there just like yours, Lorraine. I'm just in the, in the DM and I just got to slow down. Well, yeah. I was thinking about it because I, <clears throat> I was watching this um, brand summit in this group that I'm in and I was thinking about you. They had a guy, <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember his name. But they had a guy, he's, he's, he, he must be pretty famous in the YouTube world because mm -hmm. he's got some awards and shit. Um, and so he did a one hour on how to win on YouTube. And he's like, look, this is tip jar money. I've made 132 grand. And I'm like, I would be perfectly happy with just half of that. Right. God, and it's man. all on, on ads, but he teaches, I mean, he's got like a boot camp on YouTube. Um, mm. But yeah, I can't remember his name. Shoot. Um, I can go back and find him. But he was just, and he's kind of the same thing. He's like, look, you don't need some fancy equipment. You don't need this. And he's like, and you know, real estate agents tend to just be like, well, this is why you should use me. He's like, don't do that, do this. And I mean, everything he said made total sense. Yes. Yes. I just have to get over it and do it. But like I said, I'm fine behind the camera, you know, talking behind the camera and videotaping. Mm -hmm. I have no problem. It's when I have it on me, um, unless I'm in a conversation with someone where I'm not focused on, oh my God, someone's videotaping me, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Um, this right here, let me put let me put the social media. So we can go over here to the left. We can go sections. It's either sections or components, but let's see if it's under sections where we look for the footers. So here's the footers. And then we can just choose different footers for okay. our social media icons. So these, I mean, I'll, again, this is all preference, but you just can, you could you choose one. one. Yeah, yeah, we could just pick, pick one. one. Um, like, let's say, for example, we go with, let's go with this one. So we just click it, we drag it over, and then we just drop it. And then there goes our social media icons. We can take that off because... Um, that logo can be at the top left. So, and then this one right here, what we'll do is I'll take this out. I'll copy this. I'll, I'll take this part out. I'll put it down. And then, and then anytime you see a, 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 a open space like that, I can hit this red thing. I can delete this section. That way it brings everything back up. And then I can just paste in what I just copied, which is that. So there's that. And then there goes our social media icon. So I can just hover over the, the, the F and then go to edit style. And this right here is where I would put the link. So I would go link and then I would go link to an external URL. And then down here, this is where our Facebook, I would go with the business page and then just copy that and then just paste that in right there and I would have it open in a new tab and then just do the same thing for Twitter. So let's go back to your page. Do you have your Twitter up over here? Um, not in Is there. I have it on my personal profile, I think. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Right there. Okay. So let's go to Twitter and all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab 
that Twitter and then the link and then link to an external URL. So, so, um, and then just hit apply and then we'll do the same thing for LinkedIn. Do you have a, you have a LinkedIn, right? Yeah. Right there. Is, okay, so your LinkedIn is not customized. <clears throat> well, you did customize it, but this is what you, you customized it to. You didn't match it with the other ones. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's what somebody told me to do on a LinkedIn class that I was in was add keywords to your name. Um, okay. So I don't know. You could, that's fine. You could you could leave it like that. Okay, that's. Let's just paste it right there. So we'll open. But at the same time, what you're going to have to do is obviously change this because that's not taking them there. It doesn't? Well, you set that up for no. me. I don't know. So yeah, I would have set that up for you and then I would have customized this and you must have just changed it after. No, I've had that up there for over a year. Okay, so then this right here, I would, I mean, again, you could leave it that way if that's what, that's what, you know, they get the advice you got, but it's not, it's not, yeah, it's not linked up with that name that's on Facebook, this one. So yeah, cause I, I did that. It was well, a class I did last like April. Okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure what we're going to use for that then, but it's okay. linked here. It's linked for sure. And then Instagram. Um, Okay, so perfect. So this one here, and then we go to the link, link to an external URL, and then we paste it right there. And then what we can do is we can um, save this. So now we're gonna save progress. Okay. And then we're gonna publish live. And so now, this right here, we got to switch this out to your actual domain, the one that, that, that you got. So what, what domain are we using for this? Oh, um, so we're going to use the Google domain? Yeah, the GoDaddy one that you got for okay. the book or whatever. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, it's flipthesswitchbooks.com. Flip the switch books. Okay, so we'll, we'll link that up because we have to log into GoDaddy. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll do that for sure. Okay, so at least this part's connected. We'll, we could change out the colors. That's where a simple video would go. We'll change out the text. Your logo can go there if you have a logo. Um, this up here, we don't need this because this is now at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to X that out. And then you notice this drag and drop a mm -hmm. component. That's there. So what I, need, when, what I need to do is I'm going to hover over columns. And that's going to give me, that's going to let me know what, what columns are, okay. are, are within the page. So I don't need the purple column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and so when I'm in components, when I'm in components, all that does is it allows me to hover over the section, like hover over what's already there. Okay. But when I go when, and, and I can hover over, um, over, over this, that's components. But when I, when I go to columns, it's showing me a different view of the entire page and breaking it down to, to a column. So this column, this purple section, I just delete it, and mm -hmm. then now it's not there. Okay, so now we're good. So then I can switch over back to components, um, and then and then I can match this color with. In fact, you know what? Let me do that right now. So what I do is I have this plugin, which is, and this is this is just more information than you need to know because I'll be able to help you with all this. But just so you know what I'm what I'm using, this color pick eyedropper. This is a free plugin. It's a Google plugin. It's just, um, you can get it from the Google store, but I use this for, for my landing pages. So this is this right here. It sits up here in the top, right? Okay. Color pick eyedropper. So it's a free plugin. And so all that does is allows me to match colors. So when it comes to building these pages, I want to match the damn, the damn colors, right? So yeah. I, I can hover over, I can click it. I can hover over any color and I can get the code. So I copy that code, I X out, and then I come back to this right here, for example, this yellow. And what I want to do is I want to match that color. So if I click on the edit, 
let's see if it, yeah there it is and you'll see where the color is at so it's right there the yellow the background uh -huh. color so i'm going to hover over that i'm going to click that i'm going to paste in that the paint other one. i'm okay. going to click apply and there's that exact color Oh, so. you know how many times I sit there and I try to match the color and I go back and forth and I'm like, what are, yeah. what's the damn code? And I'm just, yeah. <laughs> that so takes me forever. Right, right. I, I did that for a while until I saw this damn plugin and I'm like, holy shit, that's a game changer. Yeah, so now I use that for everything. Um, this black, I would obviously, and, and, and here's the thing too about, about these pages, about, about web pages versus websites website is for pretty a web page is just for basic and straight to the point so we don't we don't need the aesthetics doesn't need to be crazy fancy on this shit it's it's literally two pages my landing page where you're going to purchase and buy the thank you page where i'm telling you thank you that's it man that's it and i'm telling you if you were driving traffic and buy, and selling the damn thing i'm telling you you're going to crush it with just two basic pages so this this is clean it's basic there ain't nothing crazy to it those are your social media links what's going to really separate it is that video is that 30 second video of lorraine and again the main main topic is introducing yourself telling them thank you and telling them to check their emails over the next few days because you got a lot of great information coming their way and then and then maybe the fourth one is to follow you on social media all you're doing is sitting there in your living room or out there on your porch or your deck or whatever the hell you're doing. And you're just simply a simple casual video of Lorraine. That's it, man. That, that simplicity goes a long way. That's that video right there. And I'm telling you, you're going to win that audience over by, by, by doing that. Um, so logo can go right there. Um, the settings, what we also have to do is we have to set up a custom conversion. That's when we start running ads. So once we start running ads, I'll put your Facebook pixel your Facebook pixel goes down here. Um, the title of the page, we can just go thank you because this is a tab. This is what they see in the tab. Just like up here, online payment processing, flip the switch, Lorraine Beato, like the tab, okay. that's the page title. So that goes right there. Um, we can hide from search engines because that's the thank you page. I don't need anyone finding that, that page on social media or on internet. This is the thank you page. Only folks that are gonna see this are people who purchased. So we save progress. So anytime I make any change, I come back and I save progress. I publish live. And now, now I can set up everything else. Um, everything is around that thank you page. When they purchase, when they submit their information, Karcher needs to know where do they go next. That's where they go. So, um, so let's go back down to book funnel. Let me refresh this. Okay, that yellow will show up pink in a few seconds. Just give that part some time. So let's go to book. Let me go back to book funnel. There we go. Now it's pink. Okay, cool. So those two are really, let me delete this one. And then the order page, the checkout page, that is for the abandoned cart. So when they come and they don't purchase, they got to the they got to the third step. They they got they got to the, the, they, they clicked on purchase. That's, that's step one. And then step two, they entered their name and email. That's step two. They went to the next step where it was asking for their credit card and PayPal or PayPal. If they don't pr process, then the follow-up emails were sending them to this page right here. So this, this page is, is, is where they go. And that's the abandoned cart. I don't know why it's showing blue, but let me open it up or actually let me, there we go. So that would be a picture of you. That would be a few bullet points of the actual, um, in the book. So in here, bo bonus one, it wouldn't be bonus one, bonus two, bonus three. What I would do is I would break down, I would break down, I would break it down by chapter and I would just maybe say maybe one sentence of the chapter, chapter one, how to do this chapter two, how to do that chapter three. So, that is a template i would for sure put in information like that and just and then also the page number so so chapter one how to and then in the basic text maybe 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 a sentence or two from it and 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 then and then the page number okay so for example for example here is an example of mine now i have the paid i have the paid 
page where you can go and get it for five dollars and fifty cents and then i have a free a free page so it's on my free page where i give like just a basic example let me um and i because i have a damn countdown clock and it expires sometimes i can't get to it because it expires so on my on my free book there's a countdown clock and once that countdown clock hits you can't get it for free anymore and sometimes I screw myself and I can't, I can't even view the page again, but let me, let me see if I can view it now. Damn it. It's not taking me there. Let me see if I can open up a new, but it was just, I was just going to show you just the, just the, um, a description of how I, how I wrote mine free book. Damn it. Why doesn't it take me to my free book? Yeah, it timed me out. Shit. Oh, here we go. Okay, perfect. So here's my free book page. So again, depending if I like you or not, but at the same time, and, and also when it comes to Facebook ads, a lot of times people think that with Facebook ads, you always have to sell your shit. Not necessarily. With Facebook ads, my whole intention with the free side of it all, and here's my countdown clock, but my whole intention with the free side was just to run Facebook ads to capture leads. And to give it away for free in order to capture the lead and sell you something on the back end. So that's one strategy right there. Um, but what I was going to tell you, what I was going to show you was this right here. So here's my bullet points. So how to optimize your social media. And then page 38. How to get thousands of local prospects following you on your page. Page 41. So it just kind of gives that person psychologically, okay, shit. Page 41, okay, cool. Page 42, okay, great. Okay, let me get the, let me get the damn book, right? So that's just like an example of, of this gotcha. over here is I would put the chapter, yeah. the okay. title, and then, that, and then a, a sentence out of the, out of the chapter and then the, and, then the, and, then the page, and then the page number. So that's just, that's just the order form. This is the order form that they'll get via email if they abandon the cart, if they leave before purchasing. So going through that first page, right the get the flip switch get the flip the switch now that has the rest of it built in then right the checkout cart and all that once i set up stripe you'll connect it all that's what i'm going to set up right now yeah you got to set up stripe for sure but i'm going to also but i'm going to get as far as we can before we even set up stripe so okay. here's what we're going to yeah do. let's change the download free now we, i need to change yeah. that before I so, forget. Here's, so here's what we're going to do now i'm going to come in here and set up the product i'm going to well let me let me see how far i can get before it asks me for um stripe let me see. Okay, so we come to the product. Here's the product right here. We are going to simply edit product. And that's the book. Perfect. Flip the switch book. And see, so the pages, that's why it's red because it, it doesn't know where to take them after. And that's what we just set up. We just set up the thank you page. So flip the switch book. Um, I can go, I can use this. This is the official name and then description. Um, that's the description as well. And then also what you can also do is you can put it in the marketplace in Kartra. There's like 17,000 people inside of Kartra. The marketplace is down here to the left um, under my affiliate promos. So if I click on uh, my affiliate promos, Kartra has a marketplace for all of its users. So anybody that's using Kartra, we can come here. I can buy other people's funnels. I can buy other people's digital products. I can buy other people's books. So that's just another platform that you can, you can, you can list your book is, is in the marketplace. We can do that part later. Okay. Um, but then, yeah, down here is where we have to connect um, our credit card and or PayPal. It's up to you if you want to do both. Um, I do both. Um, and so PayPal needs to be integrated. Credit card is Stripe. That needs to be integrated. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just simply, actually, we're going to configure this later. So now we'll save a next. And then the pricing is going to be one time. And the pricing, let's, let's, um, let's see. I mean, flip the switch book that we can use that. And then what, what, what price, what do we, what do, it's totally up to you. Um, somewhere obviously below 10 would you you yeah. would crush it 
Yeah, I mean, I was thinking seven dollars, or then there's always the yes things that end in ninety seven cents. Well, so like, would six ninety seven make sense? Is what what works better, round numbers or or like you know the psychology of a six ninety nine or a six ninety seven? It doesn't matter yeah. to me. I don't care. Yeah, I, I I think if 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 well, there's always a ninety nine on most things, right? But when mm -hmm. it comes to this, seven bucks. Okay. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Um. I think that could be a great price point for sure. Okay. For sure. And then, and then your net on that is, is, I mean, $7 times seven times because your stripe fee is going to be 2.9%. So that's 29 cents. So you're, you're, you're still, or that's actually 20 cents. So you're, you're, you're still profiting six. What is that? Six. 80. Yeah. 680. Yeah. yeah. 680 per, per unit. So um, that's perfect. So $7, and then we'll go to the next section. We'll save that shipping costs, no shipping costs, no sales tax, refund policy, save and next. And then we'll, we'll have to um, um, rewrite that refund policy, which I'll, I'll easily do for you. And then so right here, the product page, external URL, or is it a Kartra page? It's a Kartra page. And it's the one that you set up, which is flip the switch. Is it, what did you name it? You named it, let's see. Let's I go back to was... pages. It is flip the switch. Actually, it's flip the switch. So this is what you named it, flip the switch. So that's what we would look for in the drop down. So it is oh, right there, yeah. flip the switch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the product page. The thank you page is the one that I just set up. And that's under Karcher pages, no site in particular. And it's going to be flip the switch, thank you page. Perfect. So now after they process their payment, that's where they go. And then your checkout page, look and fill this right here, Kartra hosted checkout page. I would just use that one or let's go back and let's look at our options. We have an overlay, like for example, on mine, I think mine is an overlay where when they click on it, they don't go to a whole other page. When they click on it, it's just an overlay, an overlay it that pops up in there. Okay. So they click and boom, it's, it's an overlay. This thing is just overlaying the page and boom, yep. it's, 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 it's just, it's just sweet and simple. Right. Then right. taking them to yep. a whole nother page and, 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 you know, that's just, that, that could be a step too many. So, but again, it's, a, it's, it's totally up to you, but let me go back. So we have, we have this full blown Karcher page or we have an overlay, which that's the one I use. Yeah. And then you wouldn't use embedded or your own. It would be either one or the other. Um, so Kartra hosted page, I would just do overlay. Keep it simple. Yeah. Overlay. I think so too. Okay. So check out fields. What we want is we want first name, last name. We want the email. We want, um, I mean, I guess we can ask for country. Yeah. We can ask for country as well. Yeah. Just so I know where they are. Yeah, for sure. And then, um, I think we might need we might need address and city and and zip code for billing purposes, right? So that credit card because I know Stripe asked for the billing address. So let's go first name last name. Yeah, because that's what that's what I asked for on mine. So if I hit continue on mine, I'm asking for first name last name email country and state. So, right, so do we need their address? What's that? Country. So do we need their address? We don't need address. We just, w yeah, we don't need address. Country and state is all, is all we need. Um, so we'll go, we don't even need, we don't even need, we don't even need city. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, just so I know where they're coming from. Yeah, just country and state. Just, yeah. Perfect. And then express checkout. This right here is, is powerful. So yes, activate one click confirmation your customers will see a minimalistic version of the checkout with just the price details and pay now button so or, or no use the full checkout experience your customers will be able to review the full checkout process billing details i think it's this one actually which one is it that i use i think it's this one that i use yes activate i use this one so that's the one that you're seeing on my page okay so cart abandonment tagging we'll set that tagging up checkout language that's 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 all that is, is when they, the cart ab abandonment tagging, again, when they come to this part, there's three steps, the cart, the billing, and the payment. 
So I went to the cart. I was at the cart. This is the cart. I hit continue. I get to this part. I put, I, I hit continue. So there's my email. I hit continue. And, and, and if I get to the payment and I leave, that email is now in my system. And if that email has, has not purchased book, then they're going to get that, then they're going to get that card abandonment email, which I'll set that part up for you. Um, terms and conditions, we got to set up a, a, actually, no, we don't got to agree. We don't have to make them agree. So that's fine. Bump offers. We don't need that right now. Um, and then post sell. Here's what, what we need. We obviously need to put them on a list. So this is going to be, we'll create a new list because that list is not there. So we'll create a list and everyone who purchases it is going to be on flip the switch. Flip the switch book customers. Thank you for downloading. Purchasing. Thank you. Thank you for purchasing. Thank you for purchasing. Thank you for purchasing what flip the switch or thank you for purchasing your book or thank you for purchasing. Yeah. Thank you for purchasing flip the switch. I think is fine. Perfect. Okay. Thank you for purchasing. And, and they see this at the bottom of the email. If they ever go to unsubscribe, that's okay. all. That's what that is. So anytime you see an email that comes through and you go to unsubscribe off that list, that list has a title and that's, that's, that's what, what that is. Okay. So we'll hit, we'll hit uh, save and then tag your customers. We can set up a tag. So yes, tag, um, price point one, select category. We'll go book funnel and we'll tag them as, um, um, let's go flip the switch book funnel buyer. Yeah, we could, we could tag them under that. Did you set up these tags? No. Or no, those tags came with the funnel that I had originally set up. So that, that's, that's, yeah, we could for sure tag them under that. Flip the switch book funnel buyer, book funnel buyer. So that, that just allows us to categorize people through tags, um, which I'll teach you more about later, but that, that's fine right there. That's perfect. Okay. And then this is going to be a downloadable file. So we hit that download. We come over here to the category. We hit book funnel and we choose which it's PDF. There. So it's That's this it. one right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when they purchase, Kartra is going to automatically send them an email. Thank you for purchasing. Here's your confirmation. And here is the link to download your copy. That's an automated email that is going to automatically go out. So we hit save. And then advanced automations, we don't need that right now. Um, affiliates, you can always set up affiliates where anybody can start referring it and make a commission, but we don't, we don't need that right now. Um, and then we're finished. And so the only thing that we do need to connect is the first step, which is the PayPal and the Stripe. And once we connect that, then this would be complete. So that, that what, needs to, what needs to be done um, you know, soon is, is just go over to Stripe and set up a Stripe account. You just hit yep. the green button and just it's gonna take you through. That's okay. it. And then if we don't have PayPal right now, do you have PayPal? Or, yeah, you do yeah, have I PayPal. Do. Yeah, because so we'll I paid it. you through PayPal. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So we'll 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 connect your PayPal um, as well. In fact, you wanna do that right now? Yeah, we can do that. Let, let's, let's do the PayPal real quick. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to my integrations. And we're gonna come down to PayPal. And we're going to click on this and we're going to click on new integration. And then we're going to, you know, I don't want, damn, I'm recording the video and I don't, I don't want any of your private information showing. Um, so stop recording and then we'll do maybe, it. <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll do this part after I'll do this part after, but that's okay. all we're missing. That's all we're missing. So that part's simple. That's, that's, that, that part's simple. Let's go back to, um, let's go back to the pages real quick. And then here's what we got to, we got, we got to um, complete on the actual pages section. So over here, we're going to hit edit and we're going to simply edit that button. And when people click on that button, it's going to pop up the order form. 
Yeah, I guess I didn't save it because I know I changed it, but I guess I forgot to hit save. Yeah, saving is is what is is what we got to always do for sure. And 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 yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So anytime like I'm in here, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So I have a question for you. Um, running Facebook ads, mm -hmm. you can run them because what I did go ahead and do like a week ago was because so there's two other things that i'd like to do one so i i created a flip the switch page on facebook and i created a flip the switch group on facebook and i one of the things i'd like to do and i don't know if this is just pie in the sky or how feasible it is is to have a flip the switch group where then people can go in there and, you know, collaborate, support each other, ask questions, you know, maybe post any potential deals they have or deal that they need help with, a kind of create a group that becomes, um, you know, interactive and where there's some value for people. So when you run Facebook ads, you can only run them with pages, correct? Yes, it's not gonna be the group that you run ads from or ads, yeah, ads from it's it's your it's your business page. Okay. So either you're going to yeah, either either yeah, because you're obviously not going to run it from Atlanta residences. So either yeah. that flip the switch business page is titled flip the switch. Yep, it's titled flip the or switch. Or it's titled your name. No, it's titled flip the switch. Okay. I can change it and title it. I think I can change it, but yeah, it's titled as flip the switch. I would add your name in there some somewhere, like in the title. Like I would okay. put Lorraine Lorraine Viato, author of Flip the Switch. You know, or something okay. like that. Like I would put your name somewhere in there. Okay. And I and I totally wish that I did that with mine. I don't know if I can I don't because sometimes with the with the page name, you can always change the the username of a Facebook business page. But but you cannot always change the name of the page, the title, the name of the page. And and had I really put more thought into mine, I don't know if I would have just put it inspired digital because as you go and run ads, there's more engagement when when people see an ad coming from an actual person versus an ad coming from a business name, a company name. Gotcha. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as I'm seeing your ad in my news feed and I see flip the switch, it, 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 it takes a little bit more longer to process for the average consumer versus if they've seen a person's name, David Cantero. Okay. You know what I mean? Be because it's social media, people connect with people, not brands. Right, right. right? Okay. So you want to try to create that business page around your name and around you as much as you possibly can. Okay. That would give you more high, uh, better engagement on, on your Facebook ads. So the group flipped the switch for sure, but the business page is what more people are going to see, and and that's through advertising. So, yeah, as long as you have the page up, then yeah, that's what you're gonna we're gonna run ads from is the actual business page. Okay. Yeah. So let's delete this section right here, these social media icons, real quick. So, as you can see, I can hover over each one and delete them individually, but I want to delete delete the whole entire column. So I look for the actual yep, square, all of it. So I'm going to delete that. And then what I would do right here is I wouldn't put that right there. I would put that towards, I would put that at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to simply add a footer and that's where it's going to go. So I'm going to hit footer. And then I'm going to see, a, I'm going to see if I can just find a basic one without all the social media icons. I'll just go with something like, um, and there's, I think there's a couple different footers. There's one under components as well. Let me look at components. Um, where's the footers? Where's videos? Okay, so maybe it's just it's just sections. That's fine. Okay, so um, footers. Okay, so keeping this part super basic and clean is is all we need. So let's go. Let me just see if 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 we can drag this one. So let's drop that one, and then I don't need. 
So this is what, okay, so this is the perfect one because what needs to, sh what needs to be shown on a, on a landing page, especially 100, 100%, especially when you're running Facebook ads is Facebook wants to see the privacy policy on the page. So it's this bottom section that's more, most important. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this. I'm going to paste in that. And then I'm going to go to columns and I'm going to delete this mm -hmm. purple section. And now we're good. So we got that. And then, and then we got to connect this to, and then I'm going to go back to components and then we got to just connect. And what I would do with the about us is I would simply direct them to the about page on your business page. And this is how I do it on mine. So, so should we connect? Okay. So question. So mm -hmm. should we actually connect it's not them? that page? Yeah. You're right. I was yes. going to say, should I connect them to the about me on my Lorraine Beato.com? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm stuffing my face at the same time. Um, yes, for sure. Let's go to, um, yeah, it's not, it's not, a, yeah, I was gonna say it's not a Facebook group. It's a, it's a, website. yeah, let's no, this is perfect. This is where, where we want to take them for sure. Yeah. And I, I'll, at some point I'll get a tab up there with, uh, Flip perfect the switch on there perfect this is perfect okay cool so let's copy this and then i'm going to do all i'm going to do is i'm going to hover over the word i'm going to open up the edit and i'm going to just link it so it's going to go to we're going to go to link and i'm going to link to an external url and i'm going to paste it in and i'm going to have it open in a new tab so there's okay. that and then the contact us is there any type of contact? It's us? Lorraine at LorraineBeato.com. Uh, contact me. But is there like an actual page we can maybe direct them to? Yeah, um, up at the top it says contact me. Bam, there it is. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to get this. So it's get in touch. Okay, so perfect. So we get that. Go to the link. Link to a an external paste that open in a new tab hit apply and then the privacy policy um now you have one for your real estate side of everything mm -hmm. but on this page I what we can do one. is okay. well it's very easy to generate a free one like one the one that i did is i like for example i used a a third party page like um and I, I'm pretty sure I can find it, but if you come down to my page and, and you see privacy policy, it opens up in a Kartra page. But what I did is I, I, I grabbed this from um, privacy policy. It's, it's this right here. So privacy okay. policy generator will generate one for you. You just pop in your information and then, and then it generates one for you. And here's my privacy policy. And all I did is I copied it and, and, and created it in, in, a, in, a, in a Kartra page. So for example, this right here, privacy policy generator, this is free privacypolicy.com. So create your free, your free private policy. Let me so, uh, leave that up for a second. Don't take it down yet. So I can, oh, hang I'm gonna, on, I'm taking a picture. <laughs> okay, good. Free, pri pre, free privacypolicy.com. So okay. create, create one there, just put in your basic business information and it'll, and it'll spit one out. And then, and then the text will just copy and paste it into a Kartra page and, and, and do it that way. Um, and then the, term, the terms of use, that too. There is, let me go to my terms of use. I used another page like that, I believe, um, to create the terms of use. But at the same time, you can go to any page and go to the very bottom and look at the terms of use copy it and just take out the company name and replace it with yours. Cause all of these terms of use, all of these privacy policies, policies are pretty much all general. They're all generic and they're all the same. Um, okay. So even with like, um, yeah, with, even with real estate, like the real estate side of everything, like go to your broker's page. And yeah. The I'm bottom, sure there's one on there. Yeah. There's one on there and just copy it and then just replace your words with, are their words with your words. Um, that's simple. We'll, we'll get to that part for sure. So that's, that's the most important that is that we have that there. And then let me hit save progress. 
and then we're good with that. Okay, so now this button, what should we put in the text? The text should be... Um, Get it here or... Um, click here to get flip the switch or get your copy here or something like that. I like that. That's really cool. Get your copy here. And then when you're in this page builder as well, you can click on tablet view. This is what it's going to look like on a tablet. And then you can click mobile view. This is what it looks like on a mobile. So what I would do is I, I maybe, and, and so here's the deal too. I can take any part of the page and I can drag it. So I can drag it to different parts of the page. So let me, let me drag this down. Let me see, because, so I drag it down. Damn, let me get this zoom down, this, this zoom thing out of the way. Okay. So if I drag it down, this is where I want to park it. I want to park it below your image. So, and then what I can do, let me see if I can maybe make it stand out a little bit. So if I put a shadow, where's the shadow? A shadow will go large. Let's see if that, and then also in the alignment, I want it centered, apply. So now, now there's a shadow, so it stands out a little bit more if we're not going to change the color of it. You know, what I would, actually to tell you the truth, what I would do is I would change the color of it. So here's what I'm going to do. Look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply hover over the color pick eyedropper. I'm going to match the color of your dress. That's the color of the button. So I'm going to copy that. And let's see what it looks like with this color. And then if anything, I can take out that icon and not show the icon. Get your copy here. What do you think about that? Okay. It's up to you. Totally up to you. I just think the button stands out more if we change yeah. the color. Yeah. So this right here, I would probably make a little bigger. Um, let's see. Let's see what it looks like on desktop. See, so there's the button right there. Now, okay. now that button, it, I mean, we could totally put two of them. I mean, if anything, I mean, look, if I, if I hover over the clone, it duplicates it. Then I can drag it back over where you had it initially, and I could put it there also. Gotcha. So it's totally up to you, but at the same time, one button on this page is all that's necessary. Yeah. Either we're going to, it's totally up to you. We, should, we can keep it to the left or we could put it right there under, under the image. You call it. I, I don't, what do you think is better? I think Does under the matter? image. No, I think under the okay. image. Okay. So let's, let's leave it there and it stands out right under the image. Um, uh -huh. Let me see if I can make it. Um, okay. So it's already giant. So that's, that's fine. Okay. Perfect. So get your copy here. The text, it's already bold. Okay, so now here's what we can do. And again, this is this is just what I think, but you you you're the master of it all. So if you want the damn button over there, put it back over there. But I think right here is all is all you need. It's super clean and, uh -huh. and, and that's in a good position right there. Um so now what we gotta do, and again, I always say progress just for the hell of it. Like I'm gonna just every few minutes I'll come and save. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna edit this and we're gonna come to link. And we're going to pop a product checkout. And it might not allow us to do it yet because it's not because of the, um, yeah, see, it's not there because it's not complete yet. We got to add PayPal and Stripe. But once we do, that's where we would hit the, the product funnel. We hit the drop down and it would be that, pro that product. Um, and then that's it. And, and then, and then um, so right now we'll just put none. Um, click apply. And once we get that stripe up and going, then that, that's going to pop up a pop-up and people buy it. That's it. Um, now, 
we could maybe put, I don't know. Do you want to put, let me see. Let me see what, if we put $7 in there somewhere, like get your copy here. It's up to you. Like, should we put that dollar there? No, I think I'd rather wait till they get the to the checkout. Because do you think that would stop people? Not necessarily, but um, yeah, not necessarily at all. But we can test it, and that's 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 the thing about testing. You know, that's the thing about testing. But. It, it, it's kind of a surprise if I don't see seven bucks anywhere on here and then all of a sudden get your copy here. Then I see $7. It kind of, it, it could be a surprise versus if I just landed here and saw seven bucks right away. Okay, cool. Let me, let me get it. Because either way, you're going to have drop off rate either way, either way, there's going to be a drop off and, and that's fine. That's just how it is. You know, um, I think showing it would be great, but again, we'll test it. We'll test it. If you're, if you're, if you're letting that, if you're letting that be known in the initial content, whether it's a Facebook post, whether it's a Facebook ad, whether it's an email that goes out, as long as it's being mentioned in that, then by the time they come over here, they're not surprised. But if you don't mention anything about a price, and I come here and I click on get your copy here thinking I'm going to thinking I'm getting a, maybe a free copy. That's what I'm thinking. Cause nowhere, nowhere on the front end was seven bucks mentioned. So if I come here and I click and all of a sudden I got to pull out my credit card, that could be a surprise. Okay. So, so either you're going to show seven bucks right there, or you're going to mention it in your content. So totally up to you. Totally up to you. So Test what, it just, yeah, I just think it looks awkward. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's should I put forth. it there or should I put it in, in the text, in the body at like after yes. the last sentence? Yes. Like, I'm sorry, you're ready to flip the switch, you know, um, like after the last yes. sentence. Yes. And also mention Amazon say on Amazon, you can get it right now for 12 bucks or whatever the hell it was. Right. Twelve ninety nine. Or you can get your copy here, digital copy here right now for a low $7. Click, get your copy here, and I'll see you on the next page. Okay. So if you can mention that and compare it to the Amazon price, that would be good to put in the text right here. Okay. Right, that'd be, that'd be good. That's, that's a great idea. Okay. So put it somewhere in the text for sure. Um, flip the switch book, flip the switch now. That's bigger and bolder, so that looks, that looks good. This is, this is you all wanna you just, need. Since you're in there, do you wanna just add it at the last sentence? Yeah, what do you want me to write? Um, are you ready for uh, get it now? Get it now for seven dollars. What do you think? Yeah, get your get your get copy your copy now. Now for only seven dollars retails on Amazon for twelve ninety nine. Yes. Let's go and I'll see how we can. <clears throat> Like as far as like the the look of it, let me see. Let me just write it out first. Retails yeah. on Amazon, Amazon for, for twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Let's go with um. Retail on Amazon for twenty twelve ninety nine, but you can get your copy. Get your copy now. Um, okay, retail on Amazon for twenty nine, but you can get your copy now for only seven dollars. You can you can you can fix the text or or, or or move it up, or you can. I don't know what it because the layout of everything has to obviously look right. So, does that look okay? I mean, I would just have the font the same. Yeah, it looks you have two different fonts in the same sentence. It's it's. I think is it the font or the bold? Uh, maybe it's the bold. Retails on Amazon for twenty nine, but you can get your copy now for only seven dollars. Order now.
That's not the same font though. That middle, just like highlight the whole thing and pick a font because it doesn't. Okay, so that's Lotto. This is Lotto. They're both they're both Lotto, but let me even get okay. That G looks weird. Com the... Oh, it is. It's like the ones above. Okay, actually, you're right. You're right. The the, the G, G just looks weird. <laughs> it does. Um... Yeah, it does. Let me let me see if I can just change it. So let's go to. Yeah, it says that it's Lotto. It is. Okay. Well, let me. Um... Okay. If it is, it is what it is. But yeah, it just doesn't look like the rest of them. Yeah, let me let me just re. I could just rewrite that. Let me see if. Bam. Okay, so that's does that look okay? Uh, just put a space between the period and the O from order. Yeah, I think that looks better. Visually, it just looks a little better. Perfect. <clears throat> so if that's mentioned there, then there's no surprise when they click the button. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I figure since you're in there. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad we did that. Okay, cool. So save progress and then publish live. And then what I need to do also is I need to log into your GoDaddy to integrate the, the dot com. So okay. just email me that info information. I'll do that later yeah. on because that takes okay. me one second. So I'll, I'll do it later, but I do, there is some steps to it. So, but I'll, I'll connect the domain. So now every page, now you have the link that you could promote. So get that to me today so I can, I can get that done today and you can have that link by tonight. And now, now it's, it's game time, but we got to set the stripe. That's, that's, yeah, one. I'll do all that when we get off. Okay. So we got the page. We, we save progress. We publish live. Then we return to dashboard. And then what I also do is I'll open up and then it's that video, the thank you video, right? So it's that thank you yeah. video. So this is the default link for now until we actually integrate our dot com but this is what the page looks like live boom okay. and then they click get your copy here and then and then the order form pops up and that's it lorraine i'm telling you when you see that first sell come in at seven bucks you're gonna be like holy shit digital money that's crazy <laughs> then i can add then i can add david to the payroll <laughs> i'm telling you you're gonna add me to the payroll and I want 401k. I want freaking pension. I want <laughs> even though that don't even exist anymore. Shit. Put it in, put it on the books. <laughs> right. So this right here, I'm telling you when I sold something and, 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 and I made a five, like even at my $5, I'm like, Holy shit. When I started having a couple of those come in, had I ran Facebook ads, I would have seen way more, but I didn't even, that's not a step I needed to take, but just, just the first one organically. I'm like, dude, that was awesome. I didn't have to ship anything. I didn't have to get anything printed. I, there's no overhead. Like I'm telling you, man, digital, 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 digital. That's crazy. So that's, that's the first page. We're good with that. Um, all we need, all we need, all we need is that thank you video, the Stripe and the GoDaddy. That, okay. that is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Um, now, this thank you page needs to be a little bit more decorated, but not, not, not much at all. I mean, we just need to, need to change. Uh, let me see that background. I'm not really crazy about the background as far as this white. And I mean, this white's not bad. I mean, the, the design, there's little gray, you know, little gray lines in the back, but um, this text could be, could be, could be changed, edited this text right here. So just let me know, stay connected with our product. That could, that could change. Um, but the links, if anybody clicks on a Facebook link, they're, now we got to switch this out to the, to the flip the switch page, yeah. right? So we don't want them going there, but the links are all linked up. So if anything, maybe log into this page later on and just, just, just change out a few words. Okay. And then if you have a logo, do you even have a logo? No. Mm -mm. Okay, so let's just, we don't even need a logo to tell you the truth. Let's just, um, actually, actually, you know what, let me, what's your, what's your, what's your Facebook business page? Let me just link that right now while I'm here. 
It's the Atlanta's residences. Okay, so you don't know, but the flip the switch Facebook page. It flipped the switch. Or you know what? What we need to do, what we need to do is we need to just um, that Facebook icon. It should direct people straight to the group. To the group, which is yeah, it's flipped the switch. Okay, perfect. So let's let's direct them straight to the group. And again, in that video, that's what you're gonna tell them. You're gonna say, hey, thank you so much for downloading your, downloading your copy. And by the way, my social media icons are right below. Click the Facebook, Facebook one to join our Facebook group. So that's something you can pitch in that short video. And people will, will join the freaking group. So flip the switch, this one right here. No, that's not it. Okay, so that's not it. Let's go to um, groups. Right there. Bam. Okay, so this right here, this is where we want to direct people to. Okay, so let's change this. Edit. Okay, the link. And then we're going to take them to that right there. Perfect. Okay, so let's take out this section here. We don't need that. And so you'll see that column and we can take this whole entire top part out and now it's just a thank you and that background that background can change on uh, that white um but it's totally up to you i don't think it's i don't think it's bad at all actually and and again plain simple is better um and and that video is 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 where all the attention is going to be anyways so but at the same time, if you want to change that background, all you're going to do is, is just find this red button, wait for that red little tab to pop up. It's right there. And you click on edit and then you can change the background image. So you come to background, click on image selected. And right now it's this, it's this background that's selected. It's this one, but okay. I can easily add any other background and I can even search different backgrounds as well. I could type in anything I could, I mean, I could type in any keyword and it'll, it'll bring up a bunch of different images. So okay. that's an option if we don't want to. Like if I just went with white, like let's see, it just, it'll pull up a bunch of different variations of, of white that I can use rather than that other one. But it's gotcha. totally, totally up to you. Um, yeah, totally, totally up to you. But right now I'll just leave it. Um, and so this wording right here mm -hmm. i don't know what you want that to be um and then everything is ready this right here go ahead and download your goodies or the goodies this right here can can change to stay connected with us stay connect with us on social media stay connect yeah. with us stay connected with with us stay connected with us on social media and join our Facebook group by clicking the icon below. Okay. Stay connected with us on social media. And, and I'll change that bold and join and join our Facebook group by clicking the icon below so this can be that doesn't have to be bold so stay connected with us on social media and join our facebook group by clicking the icon below okay okay and again you can always you can always change that so there's your copyrights um and that's all you need that's all you need that video the godaddy login i need your godaddy login that's what i need godaddy yep. login and setting up a Stripe account. Okay. That's yeah, it. and so that everything is ready. I have to change all of that because it's the thank you page, right? So there won't be anything. They won't be downloading anything, right? No. Yes, for sure. They're going to be. Yeah, they're not going to download anything right there. They're getting. They're getting the the download email. link email. To right. Me. Okay. So I'll change that. Yeah. And the reason why I do it that way, because we can, I could easily add a button right there. Click the button below to download your copy. Like I can easily put a button right there. But the reason why I don't is because that page, that's a live page. 
And so I don't want anybody to be able to share that page with anybody and ah. let anybody, right? And let anybody download the damn book. I don't want, no, hell no. Only people seeing that page are people that purchase. So go check your damn email. You got the link over there. Now, obviously they could take the email and they can forward it to their friends. And, you know, obviously they can go that route if they want, but right. at the same time, I don't need them sharing my page with the button on it. Got it. You know what I mean? Yep. So, um, so book funnel it, and, and then, and then what I'll do also is set up the cart abandonment. The cart abandonment is where this page goes, this checkout page. So okay. I'll set that up. I'll set that up. I'll set that up for you. It's just a handful of emails. Like I just said, I like in my case, I just have three, three emails that go out. Um, and in fact, let me see if I can, let me see if I deleted them. Let me see if I can find them real quick, just so you can get an idea. I might've, I might've deleted them. Let me see. Um, yeah, see, perfect right here. Look, perfect. What I just did an hour ago. Look, what, when we were on the phone, I went to my page. I, I, um, I entered my name and name and email, right? I got to, so here's the damn here, here, here it is right here. So I, 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 I got to the cart. I hit continue. I got to the billing. I hit continue. I got to the payment and then I left. Look what happened. Two hours later or an hour later, an hour later, this email was triggered. Dave, you forgot to check out. So that person is going to get an email. If you're like me, you're juggling a full-time business, full-time life, full-time family, and full-time trying to close deals. I totally get it. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to, to afford to keep the book at this price. So before the price increases, you may want to get it now. And then so that's a link. That's, mm -hmm. Look, I click on the link and it takes me to this page over here, which is your checkout page. So I click on the link and it brings me to this page over here where now the person can check out. And, and I think that's perfect. I mean, I think what you said is, is perfect. We can just copy and paste. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then, and, then, and then what I'm also doing is I'm just adding more value. Hey, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, you know, chapter five, click here to check out now, talk to you soon. And this was triggered at 10 15 in two hours they're gonna get another email hey dave i know what it's like hey shit but hey i can't keep the prices low check out now two more hours later they're gonna get a third email and those third emails are based on the fact that they don't have the tag that they purchased so okay. that's how the system determines who gets those second and third emails do they have the tag that they purchased and they're actually a customer at this point or they still are missing that tag? Then send the, the following emails. So I have it just set up and I don't want to bug the shit out of them. So I'm not setting up 10 emails, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to just set up three. And if I can't get them three in, in three tries, the, the hell with them then, you know, they can, yeah. we can get it later. So okay. this email, I'll just, yeah, I'll just, I'll customize it to, to fit yours. And, and that's the cart abandonment. That's what this page, this third page is for. But other than that, those two pages, man, I'm telling you, you can literally crush it with those two damn pages right there. So in closing, set up the Stripe, yep. send me your GoDaddy login, mm -hmm. and then get that thank you video done sometime this weekend. Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, since I've got to go show property tomorrow, and I'll have the hair and the makeup. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Because <laughs> I was outside spray painting before mm -hmm. we got on our call. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do that tomorrow and then send it over to you so that, yeah, I can have this wrapped up so that Monday I can get it off to my friend Carol and Tom, and then we can yeah. do here's our a, thing. Here's a few bullet points for the video. And this video can literally be a 60-second video. It's not, it doesn't have to be a long video at all. But here's what you want to hit on. Number one, thanking them. Okay. Number two, introducing yourself and a little background on you and what inspired you to write the book. Number three, to check their email because the link was just emailed to them. So you don't want them flipping out and saying, Hey, where's the button? Hey, how do, how do I, you know, cause that's what people think. They're like, damn, where's the link to download? And then a lot of times they, they won't even check their email or sometimes the email will go into spam. And they just paid seven bucks and now they can't find the damn link. So mention it in the video. Number three, mention it. Say, hey, I just emailed you the link to download your copy. Sometimes it lands in spam. So make sure you check um, for, the, for, the, for the email. But it, it should be in your inbox here in the next you know, few seconds. And then, and then number four, 
to join your Facebook group. Click the icon below the Facebook. You'll see the icon right below. It'll take you straight to our Facebook group. In our Facebook group, we love, we network, we communicate, we share ideas. So talk a little bit about the Facebook group, put some value on the Facebook group, and that's it. Four things to talk about in that video. Okay. And that's it. it so is. that video could be very, 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 very powerful. And that's what's going to allow you to build your, build, build the audience, especially in that Facebook group. Yeah. And, and that's, yeah. And I haven't really just pushed it yet. Cause I do have questions. I want people, some people to answer. Mm -hmm. But someone said, Oh, you can have an open group and still ask questions for people to join just so I can gauge they've invested before they haven't invested before. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. That type yeah. of thing. So a few questions okay. for sure. For sure. A few questions is good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Beans. cool. So let me know whenever we need to chat again, but that that's what, that's what I need as soon as you, as soon as you can get it. Stripe okay. set up the GoDaddy login and that thank you video. Okay. Yep. I'll e except for the video, I'll email you everything yeah. here in like in the next hour. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay, Lorraine. All right. Thank you. I really yes. appreciate it. You're so, so welcome. Let's crush it. Talk to you soon. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.